everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the KJV Bible Promise Book. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then stay tuned. So once again, we'll be looking at the Bible Promise Book. This one is a King James Version. Here are the features. So we'll have 150 Bible Promise categories, 9,000 highlighted scripture references, daily promise mini devotions, book introductions, red letter, and a ribbon marker. So this one just comes in this sleeve. Okay, I'll hold that right there so you can pause and read that top section if you would like to. And then we've got this right here where it says find out what God's word says about, and then we've got various categories. This one is done by Barber. It does retail for $39.99. You can find it for less online, and as always, there will be a link in the description box. This Bible here measures out at nine and three eighths inches tall, seven and a quarters inches wide, and it is one inch thick. So we've got our head and tail bands kind of in a little bit different color than the cover. We've got plain white page edges. They are kind of rounded here on the edges, so I do like that. And then we've got our cover design, which is called Hickory Diamond. So the gold on there, you can see that that gold is kind of reflective. And we've got little lines on there that you can see there. And it's kind of got almost like a suede feel, so it gives it a lot of grip. So you don't feel like you're going to drop it at all. It does have stitching around the perimeter. It's also got the stitching down in that center section. On the spine, we've got the Bible Promise Book, KJV Bible, King James Version, and the Barber logo. Then on the back, it's just going to have... The little gold line with the stitching it's also got the isbn number on there so it does have kind of a nice feel on the cover it does feel like it would scratch but so far i have not scratched it at all so we do have a paper paste down liner and in a moment you'll see why i keep a sheet of black paper in this one so one thing we can see is this one stays completely open for us so it does have a sewn binding on this one we don't have any presentation page and we just get right in to our title page. This one was printed in China. We're going to have our contents page. Then we've got an introduction to this particular Bible. So it goes over the 365 daily promises. There's 400 promise points and over 150 promise topics. So here you can see how it breaks it down and it gives us the topic the reference and the first page number that it starts on. And then we'll see all of the other ones here. So you can see that there is quite a bit. And then we will have the epistle dedicatory, and then we get right in to the Old Testament. Each book will have an introduction. So it will go over the author, the occasion, and then the promises within that particular book. And then we get into the Bible itself. So we've got a single column on the biblical text. It's verse by verse. We do have our pilcrows that would be where a new paragraph would start if this was in a paragraph layout. We'll also have our daily promises. This one is number one. And so on here, there's going to be 365 of these. So one for every day. And those are basically going to be promise-based mini devotions. So then we've got our Bible promises, and I like the way that they have these laid out because the ones over on this side are going to be for all the verses on this page. And then when we get over here, we're going to have them for this other page. So I really like the way that they do that. And then we've got our promise points, and we're going to have 400 of the promise points. I'm not sure what the font size is on here. I couldn't find anything that said that. But one of the drawbacks on this particular Bible is, I'm going to get you closer so you can see it, is there's a lot of distraction with the ghosting. And that is why I keep the black piece of paper. So if you've got a Bible that's got a lot of ghosting in it, one trick you can do is keep a piece of black paper, put that behind there, and you can see that we eliminated a ton of that ghosting. So if I give you a shot of this next to the other page, look how distracting this side is versus that right there. 
So that is one easy trick. If you've got a Bible that has a ton of ghosting and it's distracting to you, just get a piece of black paper. I would prefer to use just a construction paper because it's a lot softer where you can definitely use cardstock, but when you stick that in here, if you've got a sharp edge of cardstock and you push that in there, you could easily tear your Bible pages. So I do construction paper and then I do the fold over to where I cut it to where it's a little bit softer. So when I do insert that into that page, I'm less likely to tear my Bible paper. But there's a huge difference looking at this page versus this one. Because this Bible has so many neat features with all of these promises, but it's so hard to read because of all this ghosting. So the features of this one as far as, like it's got a great layout. I love all the promises and everything without this one. But the ghosting on this one is going to steer a lot of people the other direction on this Bible. So we'll get through and we'll look at our ribbon marker. So I would love to see them do maybe some line matching to help with the ghosting and maybe a little bit different paper because if they did a little bit nicer paper or even just line matching it could really make a big difference on their Bibles. So here is our ribbon. It is going to be a brown color. It is just a single sided satin. But I use this one. I don't use this one to read the biblical text. I use this one for the promises within this one. And I just make sure that I keep my piece of black paper with it. So it's got a lot of great features in this Bible. We've got nice wide margins, lots of space to take some notes. But the ghosting is so distracting in this one. We'll get back to the New Testament. We'll see our red letter. And the red letter in this one is actually really light. So it looks pretty good on the camera right there. But to the naked eye... To my eyes what it reminds me of is when you've got a color printer and you're printing and maybe the cartridge is starting to run out and it just does like one pass of a color and you don't get the two layers to make it a little bit darker that's kind of what it makes me think of is maybe it just had like one layer to where if they darken that I think that would make a difference because in the lighting I'm sitting in it's actually really hard to see in this light but if I read this one sitting in bed and use my black paper then I don't have any problems with it but such nice features to have the drawback of the ghosting because for me that's huge so if a Bible's got too much ghosting I tend to not use it at all but again because of all the promises in this one and the content I love all of this so I would love to see them do one with better paper and some better print quality and maybe do some line matching because I would gladly pay more money for a Bible to have the readability a lot better. So one thing we're going to see here in the gutter is our stitching. So sewn binding and the Bible it's very flexible, very soft and everything and feels nice. In fact we've got some more stitching there so really nice binding and everything but it's just really hard to read from. So if you get one of these, definitely get you some black construction paper and use that because when you put that behind that page, it's gonna make it a lot more readable for you. So we'll get back to the back of the Bible. And this one also is not self-pronouncing for those of you who love the King James and prefer self-pronouncing, this one does not have it. So we'll get back to our topical index to the daily promises and promise points. So I like that it's got that. And then we'll get into the dictionary and concordance. So the topical index has 11 pages. Our concordance has 13 pages. So you know, like back here where there's not any text behind this section, that looks really good. But this other page, that's just really distracting on my eyes. But again, I just... I love the side column features and the margins and that's the reason why I keep this one so that I can use this. But I would love to see a higher quality edition be done because I think that a lot of people would be interested in it if the readability was better. So again this one has been the Bible Promise Book in the King James. 
there is the ISBN number, and I will put a link to it in the description box. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.